Zach Collins over the last nine games is averaging basically the last nine games is since the All-Star break, which is since they've traded Jakob Pertl. 16.6 points, 8.1 rebounds, 3.8 assists, a steal, a block, a night while shooting 45.8% from the field on 13 and a half attempts from the field. Five of those attempts are from three on 44%. All right. And he is playing good. All right, Zach Collins, he's got another year on it under his contract, but you could tell tonight, dude, he was manhandling Jaron Jackson Jr. I know Jaron Jackson Jr. still had four blocks and the Grizzlies still won, but the Spurs were looking like they were about to blow out the Grizzlies at one point. Obviously, the Grizzlies came back and won this game in OT. Trey Jones versus Tyus Jones was one of the most entertaining battles of the year, seeing the brothers go off. Malachi Bronham is, you know, Bronham, Bronham. Bronham, Bronham, right? Bronham, Bronham. I've, I used to, I, I Malachi Bronham. I don't know the, the, I felt like I was saying it wrong, but am I? Devin Vassell's the truth. Also, that's the other thing. Del, they, they're literally a star away. I've been saying this. Jeremy So and Keldon Johnson, Devin Vassell, Malachi Bronham, Zach Collins. All right. Trey Jones, Blake Wesley. Like, I feel like that's a solid core. Like if they win the lottery and get Victor Wembanyama. Or if they just get Scoot Henderson, this is a team that easily next year could be the sixth seed or a seventh or eighth seed and just be fighting for a play-in spot. They're like, they've gotten better over the course of the year. Like, for example, Jeremy Sohan is another guy that over, you know, the last 10, you know, since basically the last six games, all right? This is a guy who's averaging since the All-Star break, 19.8 points and eight and a half rebounds, three assists while shooting, you know, 47% from the field. He had a three-point shot as it came around, but once that three-point shot comes around, oh my God, Jeremy Sohan, he can guard every single position. He can do everything. He's literally going to be Draymond Green, more athletic, more coordinated with a with scoring ability. And then you have yourself, Kelton Johnson, who's like the perfect three and D all around wing who can handle the ball, put the ball on the deck, guard one through three, and even play, even guard some fours and play the small ball four. A guy who's on the season averaging 21.7 points, you know, grabbing five rebounds. And the thing is, is his rebounds are actually down in the sense that a uh, season, a season ago, um, he was on a two year streak of averaging six boards a night, but he's playing more of a small forward role now. He used to play power forward this year. He's now back to his native position of the wing when with Jeremy Sohan, he doesn't have to play the small ball four anymore, which they had been playing him for the last prior two seasons. So I think he's better out here. And then, yeah, and the thing is, Devin Vassell, Zach Collins, and Calvin Johnson combined for 34 three point attempts, and they made 13 of those. That is freaking amazing. Okay, this team shot 52 threes tonight. Good things to come. Because this is what you have. You have two versatile wings who can guard multiple positions. Devin Vassell can guard one through three. Kelvin Johnson can arguably guard one through four. All right. Both of them can put the ball on the deck. I think Devin Vassell's the better playmaker. Kelvin Johnson, he can play make like for his career. He's a guy who's averaged, you know, two assists this season. He's averaging three assists a night. So he can. He's more of, you know, a what is it? A, treacherary a threat a treacherary he's a third third playmaker and Devin Vassell is more of a secondary playmaker they're just missing an act like Trey Jones could be you know it looks like he could be an average and above average starting point guard but I think he could be an elite backup point guard so that's why I think Scoot Henderson if they get the second pick is still just as good as getting Victor Wembanyama obviously Victor Wembanyama would be great but they have Jeremy Sohan Sandro or Dom Barlow, Dom Dominic Barlow look like they could maybe be a backup power force and a you know backup big. Zach Collins, if they get Vic, is going to be his backup. Or if they keep Zach Collins, they could also draft the big or pick up a big. They still have Gorgi Dang. You know, Kieta Bates Diop is not bad either. But the guard rotation, I know Devontae Graham's under contract for another season or two. So right there at the point guard position, they and it, they've been running Malachi or as you know as in Devin Vassell is like two secondary playmakers with the wings malachi is more of a wing than a true guard and so you would say johnson vassell malachi are their wing rotation right now maybe add another wing through free agency or the draft then your point guard your true guard rotation is like trey jones blake wesley and Devonte graham maybe bring one more guy in there then you have two positions where you have you're gonna have four guys deep if you bring one more guy in each of those then at power forward, you'd argue, you say the bigs are where they're least deep, where they just have Jeremy Sohan, Zach Collins, and then Sandro and Don Barlow. And 
Gorgie Dang who's on an expiry and can't take updates the op. So for me, I think this was just this is a good team. They're developing through the season. Zach Collins, he's playing well. And I, I just think we're enjoying this. We're enjoying this. If you're Spurs fans, you gotta be enjoying this. Because it's showing that the future is very bright. Behind the Thunder, this is the best young team. All right. The Thunder, I mean, maybe they're not even a young team, like a rebuilding team anymore. Maybe the Thunder are just, you know, a good team now. But for me, I think you were just seeing Zach Collins, Kelvin Johnson, Devin Vassell, these guys playing real, real good basketball. And I think that's just something that we cannot take for granted. And I'm enjoying it. And that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. If you guys agree with me, I think it's been good basketball to watch and it's been a pleasure. So for me, I think, guys, let's just take what we have right here and enjoy it because it's really, really, really good basketball. And we're at a time where we need to take every second that we can and enjoy it. So... I feel like, you know, we don't, we don't always, we don't always appreciate the game. So that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. If there's anything I might've missed, let me know. I think it was a good game and just something to continue to look forward for because this team is hungry, young, and full of cum. If you guys know that movie reference. Tell me down below. But have a good one, guys. Puppies out.